And just that quick, less than about 10 or 15 seconds there, that building is no more. That building has been here for 42 years. It's called Warren Hall. It was deemed seismically vulnerable back in 1999. It sits just a half mile from the Hayward Fault. Uh, so they wanted to demolish that building at a cost of $12 million. Nothing will be built there. Now, this is also a huge benefit to scientists. As the USGS tells me, they've got uh, people here. They've placed about 600 seismometers all throughout this area. Those are data, data recorders, which are about the size of a soda can. They've placed them throughout the area to read this demolition because they say this acts essentially as an earthquake with the magnitude of a 2.0. So when they know when this is happening, they put all those data recorders out and they're able to better map the Hayward Fault. For them, they say this is an unprecedented amount of data they're 